Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> what up, people? Hello, I'm back. <laughs> and I kind of have a little voice, so I'm really excited. Tiny <laughs> little voice for a tiny little human. Shit, you did manage to do a podcast today, which is yeah, always... Titans work. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So we've enjoyed checking a lot of Ch- Chakra Khan's music mm-hmm. um, and a lot of his covers. One that was very requested is a Stone Cold cover uh, of originally by Demi. Mm-hmm. Um, Demi Lovato. I don't think we're the biggest Demi listeners, um, but we've enjoyed a lot of Chakra's cover of Demi. That's actually the part where one of the hardest. I actually have to be honest, the low smoldering, like tension building side of chakras range is perhaps my favorite part of yep. his singing not obviously his whole vocal range and his texture it's so freaking delightful it feels like something very expensive it if it, it sounds indulging and super inviting too but there's something mis- mysterious about the lower smoldering beginning the tension building uh, when he does this like it, it, he really understands what it takes to to like ease you into something that's about to be wild and you know you're in for a wild ride but he really does like takes you by the hand really and eases you into the water it's fantastic I, th- this type of versions uh, of, of, of songs that demand you already know they demand a lot of the singer create this brand new exciting feeling about the cover itself at least for me from a listening perspective when you hear Demi you know what you're gonna get and she gives you a really girth like um, a really uh, grounded beginning to everything yeah, yeah Demi's version is always grounded it's 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 passionate right from the beginning but when you hear something like this it's like you're reading a book and this is the epilogue. Yeah. So it's kind of painting the picture as you go. Yeah, oh, yeah. I really like it. I, I don't know. It wouldn't be the first time. And I don't think... It ignites a different type of like emotion when you hear it. And I don't think... Uh, I can certainly understand why a lot of people would choose this cover, you know, over the original. Yeah, cover. definitely. Ah, oh, see what I mean? It's just like heart wrenching. It's, it's so nutritious. His voice. Yeah. It, it, it has lots of a uh, yeah, different nutrients, different vocal. Um, uh, what would you call him? Uh, Layering. Yeah, yeah. Naturally. He, he's so cool. It, it he portrays so much simply by singing his way. Yeah. Um, and taking his own take on things, as redundant as that may sound, but he. Yeah, he's truly blessed with that bloody voice. I think I think the whole idea of having that texture, the raspiness that comes so natural to his 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 way of singing, uh, allows you to connect quicker to the emotion because yep. it feels so raw. It feels so human. Yeah, um, broken. It does. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like you're broken from in the inside. Like your voice, yeah. I'm not broken, bro. It's just lacking. I'm mending. <laughs> <laughs> I'm repairing. <laughs> I'm on the mend. <laughs> Stone. Stone. Go. I love this. Stone. Go. You're dancing with her while I'm staring at my phone. Stone. Go. Stone. Go. Stone. 
love I was your ember but thou seest your shade of gold stone cold baby oh. God knows I try to feel oh, that It's amazing. I love that guy's voice. He discovered such my question is not how he discovered but how does he maintain oh, for such a long time in his not, career that's mental as well not, not in the career but like of course that's a, that's a big question mark for me like how do you do that but in songs like this that are so physically demanding they're like a freaking singing workout the songs are so hard even for the original artist the songs are like a challenge they oppose such a challenge that's that I'll, I'll feel like doing that to him it's like <laughs> all right all right it's, time, it's okay it's okay yeah. it'll be fine the song will come out tomorrow um but it, yeah it, going back to that whole question of like how do you maintain such balance between the perfect type of raspiness to the completely clear and totally perfect co control of the raspiness because what comes with this type of texture is often a lot a, lo a loss of control from the muscle aspect of it from a vocal standpoint when you add raspiness that grasp that uh um all your muscles efforts because they're so tiny go into that um and so controlling certain modulations like a certain run or um, or maintaining certain settings and positions in your larynx become very limited because the muscles are focused on grabbing onto something and uh, to making that texture yeah. is really uh, it's really demanding for the tiny little muscles inside of your larynx. So the fact that he's able to maintain control and use it and m mold it into it, what he wants it to sound like it's. It's pretty mad. It's like a to me. It's like a work of magic because I don't really understand the the well. Like technically speaking, it's pretty laid out. It's pretty easy laid out. But saying it and then doing it is completely different, right? So I don't really understand how he does it, and it's fascinating to see. Yeah, I wonder what, what that discovery process was like of him also refining the skill. Oh Certainly. yeah. A lot, lots of questions. I would think it would take a lot of hours of self practice, like yeah, yeah, a sure. lot of mistrials and, and mistakes. Yeah, I'm interested in that. I'd love maybe if he spoke about it somewhere, do let us know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Lots of oh. versatility, bro. Who broke your heart? That's a very interesting cover, actually. I like, I like, I like this version a lot because I think also it's probably one of the first times we've seen Chakra portray other, other, uh, su such cleanliness in his falsettos and um, six like certain certain modulations that they were full fold that were completely crystal clear. Yeah, coming from that grab, from that rasp. Oh, I really dude. like him. 
And me too. Again, I'm, uh, his journey really intrigues me. His vocal journey, because uh, yeah, it's come out certainly healthy enough for him to keep doing this shit, you know, for life. I don't understand. <laughs> um, and certainly captivating enough that he can build a career, but also, yeah, he's maintained the health aspect of it. I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys, um, and perhaps what else we should check out next. Obviously, lovely having Bali back, um, as this is her channel. Uh, <laughs> and also, it, I think it, I, I, it really provides so much. I, mm. I, I have to say, I, I can learn and I can just listen as well. So I'm happy us, to be back. <laughs> yeah, let us know what else you'd like to check out next, and goodbye, guys.